Namaskaram Sadhguru. Can you tell us uh, what, uh, what are the measures uh, to adapt to improve our memory power and how can we overcome from our exam fear? Exam fear? Oh. You are asking the right one. Straight from the horse's mouth. Somebody who had no fear of examination ever <laughs> That was my father's greatest concern, that I had no fear of examination. Say, oh, this boy has no fear, what to do? <laughs> this is the whole thing. <clears throat> You're asking this question, it's good, but you must first understand somewhere it's spread around in this world, in the society, that fear is some kind of a virtue. Fear is not a virtue. Fear makes you into the ugliest possible creature. Most unpleasant experience in your life is probably fear. That one thing not being there has made my life totally, <laughs> absolutely pleasant because fear is about something that is yet to be. Fear is about something that does not exist right now. What will happen is the thing. What will happen, you do not know. When you do not know what you will write on the damn paper, something that you learned a whole year, you still do not know what you will write. When this is the thing, what will happen in your life, you for sure do not know, isn't it? Yes? But you are imagining all the horrible things that will happen post-examination. No, post-examination there is a wonderful vacation. Yes. <laughs> then there is one day they will announce result. My 10th standard exam results, I did not go to see. My twelfth standard examination results, I did not go to see. Somebody later on, one of my… my, my family is boiling. Today's results, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> then they will tell somebody that they know, they will send word. They must have gone and seen what has happened to his result. Well, somehow passed. <laughs> now the thing is just this, are you going to school to learn something or are you going to school to prove something? This is a thing that you have to decide, everybody must decide. Have you come to the ashram to know something or to prove something? You must decide this. Once you go to any place to prove something about yourself, Sickness will set in, sickness of failure and success will set in. For one who wants to learn, there is no such thing as failure, there is no such thing as success. It's just a question of striving. Somebody may get it in one day, I may get it in ten days, somebody may get it in hundred days. It's just a question of striving. If your interest is to learn, striving itself is a learning. To be able to strive relentlessly, itself is a huge learning, isn't it? So, don't try to prove anything. Don't try to improve your memory. Please, you went to school not to remember some rubbish, to learn something. To enhance the horizons of your life, you had to know and understand something about this existence around you. This is what is science, this is what is mathematics, this is what everything is. What you are studying is not some subject, it's… it's different pieces of life, maybe presented in a most un uninteresting way, but still it's life, yes? Whether you study physics, physics or chemistry or biology or social sciences or geography, 
you're learning something that could enhance the scope and play of your life. So you have to learn it, if you remember it, it will not transform your life in any way. So you went there to learn, if you have learned, what's the problem, what you know you're right, what you don't know, you want to copy from that guy next? <laughs> I will not talk about all those things because many times teachers it seems are encouraging these things. Getting a few marks more or less in tenth standard is not going to make so much of a difference. How much you learn will make a world of a difference. How many things you grasped right now, fundamentals, will make a big difference. Right now focus on that. Maybe the damn twelfth standard, because today in India, if you want to go to medical sciences, you must have… people from outside the country cannot believe this, you must get ninety-eight. Ninety-seven percent, you have nowhere to go. How sensibly, how wonderfully, with how much competence you live your life is important. How much you remember is not important. I don't remember a damn thing, that's why I can sit here and gossip with you <laughs> simply <laughs> about anything because there's no burden of remembering anything. So, no anti-diarrheal tablets and don't worry about your memory. What you know, you will do. What you do not know, anyway you cannot do, but if you know how to copy, It's up to you <laughs> I wouldn't do it and I'm sure our teachers will not allow it because at this stage in your life, you don't start your life with deception. Don't at least be… I'm not talking about honesty, I'm talking about learning to be straight with life so that tomorrow you don't get all twisted out for small things. But you're okay, this is how I am. Okay, I am get… I get only thirty-five, it's okay. This is how I am. This will not determine the quality of my life. I want you to understand this. What marks you get will not determine the quality of your life, but with how much integrity you exist will definitely determine the quality of your life. So, no copying, all right? Suppose you don't know anything, it's all right, happily sit there, and come out, tell everybody I, I did not get it. You do some yoga, life will become long so you can take one more year <laughs> One more year to learn, no copying because don't lose your integrity for small things, petty things these are. Don't lose your integrity for such small things, tomorrow when big things come, you will not be able to stand up to them.